So welcome, everybody who attended, to the uh, fourth annual Golden Pill Awards. As you can see, I didn't change the PowerPoint much from last year. <laughs> I just changed it to a 2021. But I have Luke Nady and Ketzer and Van Dyke here with me Woo. doing commentary Woo. this year. Which last year we had Robin, Lindsay, and Greg, but none of them are here this year because they all hate me. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, why don't, why don't you say let's get started? What do you think, guys? You want to get started? Let's, let's do it. Bananas. Let's do it to it. Okay. All right. So I like bananas. I also. I like to peel them. I like to turn them upside down when I peel them. Okay. Well, I mean, whatever you gotta do, you do it. Okay. So. Well, we'll start things off with favorite music album of 2021. Now, what I had to do this year, there was a lot of nominees, so the only ones that became bananas are the ones that received enough votes to be in consideration. So they were all up and listed, but, you know, these are the only ones that actually received votes, well, more than one vote. So the bananas are An Evening with Silk Sonic by Silk Sonic. Love that album, actually, but... uh. I burn out. I burn. I got burned out on it really fast. It was. It was a good album though. Uh, Fortitude by Gojira, which I haven't listened to enough, but I have heard some songs from it. Encanto, original motion picture soundtrack. I don't. I don't mess with musicals. I just don't like musicals. Just not for me. Uh, Happier than ever by Billie Eilish, which is really good. Uh, I thought. What? Oh, wait, what? I'll wait. Oh no, no no! I'll wait until the, the, they go up. And then Donda by Kanye West, which I thought was okay, but it wasn't for me. Okay, what what was your so, interjection? Uh, like, just as a... I'm going off track here. <laughs> but you don't like musicals. You should no. watch Hamilton, because that shit, man... Okay. It was fantastic. Like, I think it's on... It might be on Hulu, maybe? I think it was but on Disney+. It, Plus. It's maybe yeah. I think that that's where I watched it. It's fucking awesome, man. I heard it was good, but I don't know. I just don't do musicals. I just don't. It's, I, I mean, I like musicals. Not I. I like musicals, but Hamilton. I was like, this looks dumb. And then my mom was like, watch it with me. And I was like, <laughs> okay. So, okay. So it was. It was really good. Like it, it tells a fantastic story. It's based on history, and that's like even the cooler part. But well, you know, I actually just yeah. watched uh, from the same director. I watched uh, Tick Tick Boom, which has Andrew Garfield in it, which is a musical about the guy that created Rent. Uh, I actually liked it, but only because Andrew Garfield is a phenomenal actor. But all right, enough with the the sidebars here. What do you guys think? One, what is what's your guess? I'm gonna say Kanye. Yay! Okay, what about you, Luke? Yeah, I'll go with Kanye. Hey, hey, Luke. All right. Here. If we're wrong, you want to take a drink? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just drink one now because I know we're wrong. All right. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Favorite music album of 2021 is Encanto. Yep, we're wrong. <laughs> it actually won by a landslide. I was shocked. Which I mean, there are some catchy songs in it. It just I didn't I didn't really love the movie. Like it was okay. I just don't like musicals. That's just I don't like musicals. So. I haven't seen it yet. It's it's all right. Also, I didn't listen to Donde. Donda. Donde. Donde esta. Uh, yeah, Donda. Donda was okay. I mean, it, it's not my favorite. All right, so uh, favorite book slash comic book 2021. And the bananas are Star Wars Thrawn Ascendancy Book 3 Lesser Evil by Timothy Zahn. I haven't read it yet, but I love the OG Thrawn books. It's on my list. I actually own it. I just need to read it. Venom by Donny Cates, which I have put up for nomination two years in a row now because it's phenomenal. Uh, da, da, da. Expeditionary Force, Fallout by Craig Allenson, which I'm uh, about three-fourths of the way through and I did finish. Uh, I highly recommend the Expeditionary Force series to anyone who likes audiobooks because it's the best audiobooks I think I've ever read like or listened to. Uh, the guy who does it... Uh, 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 R.C. Bray, the narrator, he's he's great. So highly recommend Expeditionary Force to anybody that likes uh, sci-fi stuff. Really, really good stuff. 
Uh, Termination Shock by Neil Stevenson, which I honestly had never heard of. Uh, and then Hotline Miami Wildlife, which that's based off the video game. It became a graphic novel. Dakota actually nominated it. So uh, I looked it up. The, like The art is crazy cool. Uh, it's real neon and bloody and stuff, which makes sense if you've ever played the Hotline Miami games. They're very good. Highly recommend those too. All right, what are your guesses? Um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go either I'm gonna go Venom first and then Star Wars, and I voted I for Venom because I remember you voting or putting this up last year, <laughs> and I remember looking at it and going. I should read that. And I haven't read any of these. I know oh. my brother has read Thrawn. I'm, eh, I don't know if he read book three. Yeah. But I haven't read any of these, honestly, and I should probably put him on the book list. Yeah. Well, I highly, highly recommend Venom by Donnie Cates. It's one of the best comic books I've read ever, honestly, especially in the past, like, several years. Like, he is just phenomenal at what he does, and he really – took a fresh take on Venom and how it ties to like uh, uh, the uh, to Asgard and everything like that like just really awesome work and the art by uh, Ryan Stegman too is just brutal and amazing so highly recommend okay. it to anybody yep. so you guys guess Venom I was gonna say Thrawn probably okay. and then Venom just cause that's kinda what's relevant these days Okay, Luke, you ready for a drink? Yep. All right, here Let's we go. <gasps> Venom by Donny Cates yeah. wins, <laughs> which I, I'm shocked, actually. A lot of people voted for this. This is a landslide win. And, again, highly recommend the King and Black stuff that happened this past year, just, like, too good. Like, all the tie-ins and stuff. If you have Marvel Unlimited, go read it, like, after this. It's it's perfect. It's like, Ryan Stegman, the inker or color? He is the uh, inker. Ooh. Yeah. We, we, uh, so Dakota and I actually um, went to a panel a few years back with Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman uh, about the Venom series, and they were awesome. Uh, That's Don cool. Donnie told us how he actually got the series, which is a whole other story. you have to ask me about it later on. It's a really cool story, but uh, – We'll talk about it later. Okay. Uh, all right. So moving on. Favorite anime 2021. And the bananas are Demon Slayer, Baruto, The Seven Deadly Sins, which I need to get caught up on. I will never watch Baruto, probably. Uh, Remake Our Life, which Morgan uh, put up for nomination. I've never seen it, but I might have to. Yeah, Donnie sucks. Okay. <laughs> Dakota, I thought you liked Donnie. I, I thought he was cool. I thought he was... Well, I, he's a really good writer, but I thought he was cool. And then, uh, let's see, Mobile Suit Gundam Hathaway, which I have not watched. So out of these, I'm not caught up on Seven Deadly Sins, so I haven't seen the new season. I have not seen Remake Our Life. Probably won't watch Baruto. Mobile Suit Gundam Hathaway, I do want to watch. Need to get caught up on that. Uh, and Demon Slayer, I'm completely caught up on, and I love it. All right, what do you think wins? Demon Slayer. Uh, I've heard so much about it this year. Well, I guess last year. That um, it's going to be Demon Slayer. <laughs> and I've only seen yeah. the first season of Seven Deadly Z Sins. Uh, for, uh, so yeah. Seven Deadly Sins is a I wine. Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't watch any of them. I voted for Mobile Suit Gundam because... <laughs> Oh, team recognition. Yeah, <laughs> Gundam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, some tsunami, some tsunami loyalty going on right there. Love it. <laughs> All right, and the winner is favorite anime, Demon Slayer. Boo, boo, boo. Again, won by a landslide. Uh, if you've never watched Demon Slayer, please do it. Uh, again, it's it's like. Easily one of the best animes in a while. Like, Attack on Titans up there, of course. But this is, like, it's making a push to be better than Attack on Titan in my book. So, uh, it's just really, really, really good stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I love it. It's one of my, it's my favorite anime right now by a lot. So, so far, out of the three categories, the thing I nominated has won. I'm just saying. <laughs> 
So two, I'm two of three. What, you like, you have good taste or something? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I didn't say that. Uh, unfortunately, the song I nominated didn't even become a banana, so no one else voted for it, unfortunately. But uh, the bananas are Life Goes On by Oliver Tree, I Don't Want to Talk, Glass Animals. Wait, that's me. That's me. Dad Vibes, <laughs> Limp Biscuit, Ex Mortis, Ice Nine Kills. Uh, da, da, da. uh, Industry Baby by Lil Nas X and Jack Harlow, and Feast of Feast of Fire by Trivium. All right, so what do you think wins? I, uh, I again, just out of name recognition, and because. I thought it was funny. Went with the Limp Bizkit song. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love it. I So this one, the I Don't Want to Talk, I Just Want to Dance by Glass Animals, that's the one I nominated. So I want that one to win, but I think Lil Nas is going to win. Lil Nas X, huh? Yeah. All right. Let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> so it, I won. I won. It, I won. It won. I won. It won by uh, one vote. Actually, it was very close. Uh, Industry Baby was the next uh, highest, so you were close on your guess. But I right, never I'll heard this. <laughs> I never heard this song, but I actually enjoy it. So thanks for nominating it. You're welcome. I have fantastic taste in music. Yeah, toot, you toot. Do. yeah, you do. <laughs> All right. So, favorite movie 2021. All right. So, and the bananas are Venom, Let There Be Carnage, Don't Blow H plus R E Head Up. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, Dune. Uh, which was great. I did not like Venom, Let There Be Carnage, but... Uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, which is not surprising that it's on this list. Free Guy, which I have not seen, uh, but I do want to see it. Uh, Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, which is, like, crazy long name. Uh, and then Licorice Pizza, which I have not seen. I thought Shang-Chi was pretty good. But uh, haven't seen Free Guy. Venom, Let There Be Carnage, I hated. Uh, Dune was phenomenal. Spider-Man No Way Home was phenomenal. Uh, Licorice Pizza, I want to see. So what do you think wins? I um, I went with Dune because I enjoyed Dune. And I liked that movie that long. I could watch it home. And if you got a good TV, it looked fine. Right. I think it might get a little heat just because people that aren't familiar with it probably thought there was going to be a conclusion at the end of the movie, but it was just kind of a setup for it's part one. a trilogy. <laughs> it's part one, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going with Dune. Alright, what about you, Katsurin? Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go with Spider-Man No Way Home, and I haven't seen any of these movies yet, by the way. But yep. I saw... Whoa, you haven't seen Spider-Man? Um, uh, yeah, I haven't seen Venom, Dune, Spider-Man, none of it. What? Yeah. I, I've been avoiding memes. <laughs> you guys see Spider-Man? Oh, God. I go buy it. <laughs> uh, but Dune came out like a year ago. <laughs> no, yep. Not really, but it feels like it. It does feel like it. I think it came out like uh, early fall, right? Like September? Yeah. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, like the end of summer. Yeah. Yep. It's a great I, movie, uh, yeah. and on my and like and like you said, Luke, on a four K like on a four K TV with like you know, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the light, the I forget. I drew a huge blank, but on a four K TV, like it looked great even at home. So I'd love to see it in theaters, but I'm obviously not going to get a chance to do that. But maybe the next one for sure. All right, so yeah. the winner goes to. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. No surprise, Spider-Man No Way Home. But I will say, Dune got, a, Dune got a ton of votes, and it was really actually close for a while, but Spider-Man pulled away at the end. Um, but yeah, a phenomenal movie. My personal favorite 
comic book movie not named uh, The Dark Knight. Um, just phenomenal. I loved every bit of it. It smashed my expectations, and my expectations were high. So, yeah. Loved it. Loved it, loved it. Yeah. I can't I'm believe you haven't seen it. it. Gosh. I <laughs> I know. I haven't been to the movie theaters in a really long time, and uh... you you can probably watch it on Pornhub right now. To be honest, <laughs> true, <laughs> it's true. I'll, I'll go search now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moving on, favorite TV show. There were a ton of nominees for favorite TV show this year. This is like the year of TV. There was a ton of good TV, um, like very broad, like lots of stuff and bunch of stuff didn't make the list here because there were so many nominees. Uh, but these were the ones that got the most votes. So the bands are Loki, which I think is the best Marvel TV show. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which was good. Really liked it. Squid Game, which was a pleasant surprise and a cult hit. Uh, Invincible. Yellowstone. And Arcane. Arcane is on my short list. Yellowstone, I have heard of great things about, but I haven't been able to watch it yet because it's on, what, Peacock, I guess? And I don't have it, and I don't feel like signing up for it just to cancel it. Uh, Invincible was phenomenal. Squid Game was really good. Uh, oh, what's up, Morgan? Surprised to see you here. Uh, da 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 Falcon and Winter Soldier, like I said, was really good. It had its moments. Loki, I thought, was phenomenal. I loved every second of it. What do you guys think wins? All right, I'm um, going to go. I'm, a little bit, I, I, I'm going to say Loki and and uh, the Winter Soldier and the Falcon. I'm just lumping them together. The Marvel <laughs> stories are cool, but whatever. Squid Game was very unique and came out of nowhere, and I was all in. And I'm a redneck, and I love the Yellowstone story, but it's not good. It it's not great writing. It's just, it's oh. a bunch of, it's a bunch of white dudes shooting guns at each other. It's fun, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm I'm going Squid Games all day. All right, what about you, Ketsuorn? Um, oh, I think ultimately it's going to be Squid Game because it came out of nowhere and it stuck. Okay. Um, I want it. I want it to be Invincible because I was riding on that Invincible high. <laughs> Yeah. I am all about Invincible. So when it came out, I was pushing for it. I was telling everybody, watch this, watch this, watch this. Yeah, you got me caught up in it. I, I jumped in about episode three, I believe it was, uh, finally got on track. Because uh, I, I knew no, I, all I knew about it was, was that Robert Kirkman wrote the yep. comic book, uh, which he's from Kentucky, by the way, just in case you didn't know. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's from Richmond, Kentucky. Um, but, yeah, I – I, I fell in love with it. I I think it's amazing. Uh, yeah, if you if you get a chance, read the comic books, man, because okay. it is it's it, if you think that the show is nuts, the comic books are way worse and amazing. As someone so, who read the Walking Dead comic book and loved it and hated the TV show, like because it didn't get as brutal as the comic book and they like, just didn't go with the story pretty much. Like mm -hmm. I, I love Robert Kirkman, so yeah, I definitely I want to get the. Would it, would it have an omnibus at this point? I want to get that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Three and it, compendiums. It's, it's been completed too. Oh, sick. Yeah. But, okay. So, so you can read the story if you want to. <sighs> yep. I see. I'm I'm nervous though because I, I kind of want to wait till the show's done and then read it because I'm already invested in one well, it's side. It's gonna of take it. like 15 years if they stay with <sighs> it at this point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Maybe read, I should just read do the it. comics and then when like you can rewatch the show and. It's still phenomenal. Like it stays on track. It changes slightly, but it's it, with Kirkman being a consultant, being with the show. It is still so good. Yeah, I agree. I loved it. Uh, so Luke says Squid Game, and you say what did you say? I'm gonna say Squid Game, and then Invincible. Squid Game. Okay. Yeah. All right, and the banana goes to. <gasps> Invincible. <laughs> it actually won by a ton, like a lot. I'm thrilled about this. Me too. I was stoked that this won because it should have. It's this is one of my favorite shows in years, like straight up. I loved it more than The Boys. I loved it more than uh, 
pretty much anything I've watched recently. I just hope it doesn't fall on its face in season two. I, um, I'm hoping so as well. I, I mean, that first episode, man, and anybody who hasn't watched it, if you guys are watching this oh, and you're so like, good. I haven't seen that yet. That first episode I watched, I think, like four or five times over and it's, over just to see good. the end. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Morgan, my God. Morgan, I, I actually really want to see Arcane. I am I plan to start it next week. I'm watching Hit Monkey right now, and I should be able to go through that soon. But that's my next animated show I'm going to watch that isn't an anime. It's weird. i got to keep all that separate, or I'll just fall in big p- pits. Hi, Morgan. <laughs> uh... But yeah, I oh man, Invincible is perfect. I just yeah. I love every second of it. Me too, man. All right, and now we're getting into some nitty gritties here. Favorite banana shell mod 2021. We have one less this year because Koran is no longer on Facebook, which makes me super sad. But he's the Bad. one. That, he's he's the one that won it last year, so he can't <laughs> even defend his title, which sucks. I thought about putting him on yeah. anyway, just because it'd be funny. But and the bananas are Dakota Riley. You all know everybody that's the mod. Jonathan Houck, Brian Dubois, who makes our banners a lot of the time. Great guy. Um, Robert Miller. Robert Miller. <laughs> Lindsey Miller. And Jeff Fisher, who does a lot of the music polls and some other stuff too. So uh, good friend of the show. Uh, <laughs> all right, who do you guys think won? No Koran. Who do you think won? I'm going to go with Dakota, but I told I, the, the secrets coming out, Dakota, you know how you go to a bar and you see all the bartenders, but you have a low key favorite bartender. Yeah. Dakota is my low key favorite bartender. Oh. Don't tell anyone, Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> this is going on record though. This is going on the YouTube channel. <laughs> yep. Cause he's up early and I'm like, Hey, my Wednesday post, I have to fix it. Can you, <laughs> <laughs> Can you resubmit it? And he's like, yeah, I got you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, so I bother him all the time, and he's like, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what do you think, Luke? Who, who wins Dude, this year? I didn't even vote on this one because I didn't even know we had bots. I just oh. thought you were the one guy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because <laughs> I never break the rules. <laughs> I'm not the even just yeah. happened. I'm not even a mod. I'm an admin. <laughs> well, you know. Okay. My, my my stuff gets approved and whatever. So I, they're all winners in my book. That's my political answer. Okay. All right. Well, the golden pill belongs to your boy, Dakota <laughs> Riley. Congrats, Dakota. You're the new throne of mods. You have the new throne of mods since Koron kicked it to the curb. But, you know, I had to... Actually, you should have known you were going to win because I wore my Naruto swag just for you. The headband, the Naruto shirt, and then I've got the Naruto picture on here. So, congratulations, brother. What a nerd. Too bad you're not in chat to talk. But But he's our (laughs) nerd, and we accept him. Oh, it's it's hidden, Hidden Leaf, my guy. Although I'd love, uh, I'd love, I'd love uh, the uh, hidden village, hidden in the rain headband. That'd be cool too. Uh, all right. So favorite video game, twenty twenty one. This is our second to last category. I'm forever using this gift, by the way, for for this slide. <laughs> it's too perfect. And the bananas are Diablo two resurrected, which once they fixed it, off, I I loved it. I've uh, been playing it some recently, actually, because I can play cross progression on Switch and PC, which is great. Uh, Destin, go- you can just go click, 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 click Halo Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one that's going to win. <laughs> Maybe. Ghost of Tsushima uh, Director's Cut, which I guess is technically a new game. I haven't watched, or I haven't played that game, but I've heard great things. Call of Duty Vanguard, I don't play Call of Duty, not for me. Uh, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, which I need to still play. I've heard great things about it. Our boy Matt Lindsay swears by it. He thinks it's amazing. Uh, Halo Infinite, which I'm in love with. I still play multiplayer. I haven't finished the campaign because I'm savoring it, and I'm same. I keep, I keep getting I keep getting caught up in multiplayer too, so that's a problem. 
Uh, and then Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, which I need to play as well. But I'm hoping it'll uh, be a free game soon for PS5 because they like to do that with their exclusives. So I'm, I'm praying for that. Yeah, no, I'm with you, Morgan. The campaign is great. I've had a great time with it. I just I keep getting caught up in those weekly challenges for multiplayer, and I forget about it. So I need to go back and finish it. I'm, like, probably halfway through it. So, uh, All right, so what do you think wins? Ketzer, I know you think Halo. What about you? It's going to be infinite. What about you, Luke? I got I got I gotta say Halo, and I'm saying this because I did not like Halo Four. I did not like Halo Five. But this Halo, people from my friends list from way back in our old Bungie days are playing again, and we're playing together because it's a good, fun game. Yeah, it's so, uh, it's a love letter to the OGs for sure. Yeah. This feels like Halo Two, Halo Three, like the pacing and everything. So. Yeah. So I gotta go with I gotta go with Halo. Let's I'm just get right it. to let's just get right to it. And the golden pill belongs to Halo Infinite. <laughs> Another one that won by a landslide, like wasn't even close. The next closest I believe was uh Call of Duty, I think. Uh but yeah, it would it won by like a lot, a lot. And that Call of Duty game wasn't even that good, man. Nobody even plays it anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> goat low, <laughs> for sure. All right, and last but certainly not least, favorite banana, twenty twenty one. So this is a nomination only in the voting, so people don't get an idea of who's gonna win. Uh, who do you think wins this year? Last year it was Matt Lindsay. Do you think he wins again? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Okay, so I, just shoot animals. Uh, I have a statue of him in my bathroom. <laughs> Matt Lindsay. Well, he, he's my Lindsay boy. Uh, okay, how about chat? Chat, what do you think? Who do you think's gonna win it? Let's get some. Let's get some answers. We got a few people still left in here. What do you think? Ketzerin. Okay. Um, says Morgan. That's not a person. I love you too, random citizen. Morgan just says tough. That's also not a person. That's me. I <laughs> love you too, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. You just want to get to it? Goku wins, yeah. says Winterfell. Okay. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the golden pill belongs to Ketzerin. Congratulations! Oh this was wow, close. Wow, wow, wow. This was close too. You and Matt were neck and neck. You edged it out though. So Aww. I actually You're realized I forgot to change that to 2021. Oops. You know, you know what? <laughs> Screw Matt. He's, yeah. he's not on here. You win, and yeah. you're better. Than Ketzer yeah, and you become. Matt. I win and I'm better than him. It's like global gym. Ketzer and I love it because you've made this like your Kotor Bungie.net like home, uh, yeah. like you did back in the day, and you're just vicariously doing that through the banana shell, and, and it's like it warms my heart, and I hope you never stop. Oh, I love it, dude. I was like, you know what? We need frogs, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then it kept going. Yeah. So. I was like, well, I guess I'm committing to this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and uh, I, like, tricked myself, like, honestly, so this is going to be fun. I I never even really, like, liked frogs. And then over the course of a year, I tricked myself into liking frogs by accident. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> All right. Well, you need to say, since you're here, you need, an exp uh, you need to say your accepted speech. So go for it. Go on. Um, frog. Good. Wednesday. Bye. All right. Short but sweet. That's it's gonna go down in the history books for sure. Uh, all right. Great. Well, thanks everyone in the chat. <laughs> thanks everyone in the chat and uh, Ketzerin and Luke for stopping by. I uh, appreciate all you guys, and I appreci appreciate everyone that makes the banana show what it is. It's truly a place I go and have fun, and I, I think that's what it is for all of you guys too. Uh, it's turned into quite the little community, and honestly, like, I can't thank you guys enough. Like, it, it means so much just because it's just so fun, and, like, it's a good, you know, it, it's good having like-minded trolls and nerds to, to just bounce random shit off of. So I, I appreciate you guys infinitely, so...
Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. I would agree. I really love this community. So thank you guys for me being fave banana. <laughs> and um, honestly, I love you guys. I love this group. I have fun, and I'm looking forward to the next couple years. Yeah, thank you, Morgan, for being a co-admin as well and helping found this group into what it is. I, we we came from a spot where we just randomly on a whim, like, banana shell, that's funny, let's make a group out of it, and it is what it is today. So, <laughs> for sure. Long, way, long yeah. way from the old bungee days. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yep. So so amazing. All right, well, that's all. Uh, again, thanks for another successful Golden Pill Awards. And we'll see you guys next year and in the banana shell. And stay nerdy. Okay. Roger, Roger. Bye.